My name is Koen Pelgrim. I'm the coach of the Curling Quick Step. Today we're going to be talking about training for sprinters. At the Curling Quick Step, uh, we have a history of working with world class sprinters. This year in the team, we have Elia Viviani, Fabio Jacobsen, and Alvaro Hodge. And we have several lead out guys as well Fabio Sabatini, Michael Morkov, Max Richese. When the riders are training, they use the Brighton to store all the data. Once your Brighton is connected with your phone, then it automatically synchronizes your data with online training platforms like Training Peaks. So then, no matter where the rider is, within seconds we are able to analyze and look at the training that they did. Training camps, they do uh, several series of four or five sprints of eight to 10 seconds. So then we just set the amount of time and the gearing and then it's just going to be all out. Sometimes we put them sprinting against each other to make it a little bit more competitive. What we also do is to make sprints after a lead out. So then they, they have to sprint already at a higher, the higher speed. The coordination and, and the, the way that you put your power on the pedals is different. Training for a lead out guy or a sprinter is slightly different. Uh, they both need speed and explosivity, but like a lead out guy, he needs to be able to push a little bit longer, getting really deep into the, into the red zone. And so they should be able to get a speed up from let's say 55 to, to 60 k's an hour uh, and do that over like 300, 400, 500 meters maybe. With the Brighton, it's very easy to change the data fields that you have on your pages. And a sprinter is generally more interested in their peak power, for example. If I'm looking for the data of a, of a training that a sprinter did, if they did 10 second sprints, you'd be not just looking at the peak power, but also the 10 seconds average. This is an example of a, of a training with sprints that we did with uh, one of our sprinters. He set a personal best on his one second and five second peak uh, power output. So you can clearly see those three sprints here, three sprints uh, towards the end of the training. So this is after an hour and a half, this is after five and a half hours. Then I can see he did uh, 10 seconds he did 1500 watts average, 1732 watts uh, max. He did 11 seconds, 1550 watts, and he had a maximum of 1798, which, which is like the best of the, of the season. Gives us a positive confirmation of that he's going uh, in the right direction and that he's ready for the upcoming races.